Classic Game Room is brought to you by Magnum Skywolf. CGR is supported by fans on Patreon. Thank you. Welcome to Classic Game Room for the review of Uncharted, Drake's Fortune, part of the Uncharted Nathan Drake collection on PlayStation 4. Uncharted Drake's Fortune was released in 2007 for the PlayStation 3, where you play as Nathan Drake searching for the lost treasure of El Dorado. I prefer the lost treasure of El Camino myself, but whatever. I've been meaning to play this game for years and just never got around to it until now. This is the PlayStation 4 remastered version. Part of Uncharted, the Nathan Drake collection. Nathan Drake. Most perfect hair ever. It never even gets wet. Gotcha. Are you alright? Yeah, I'm alright. My hair intimidates water. Catch! You're dead. Run! For years I looked at this game and thought it seemed a bit slow. And you know, the first... The first half of the game is kind of slow, but then it really picks up and gets good. I'm not much for exploring or puzzle solving, but thanks to the miracle of the internet, walkthroughs, and friends on Twitch who just helped me along, See those scorch marks? Uh, I ended up having a really good time with this game and definitely enjoyed the second half of it a lot. The ending was good. Uncharted feels a lot like the Tomb Raider series mixed with Indiana Jones. With wisecracking, somewhat likable Nathan Drake, professional jet ski rider, and hairstylist. Didn't I see this exact same scene in Cliffhanger? And haven't I played this game before? Well, kind of, if you've played The Last of Us, even though this came out first. From developer Naughty Dog. They do good work. What's so important about that town? The production values are excellent, the level design is really good, the acting is competent. And the gameplay is solid once it gets going, but it does take a while to get going. It always looks and sounds really nice, but it's like they took the most boring parts of the Assassin's Creed series and just put them here. Look for obvious thing in the wall and climb on it. Does anybody like these scenes? I guess somebody must. I'm playing the new game right now, and it's exactly the same. Seriously though, once the game gets going, you don't want it to stop. The plot is excellent. Okay, land of the dead. Here we go. And as it turns out, the lost treasure of El Dorado is a treasure best left lost. So what's next? I don't know. I'm figuring it out as I go. It really reminds me of Indiana Jones. And if you played the game, you know exactly what I mean. When you're not climbing things, solving puzzles, or admiring Nathan's fabulous hair, you'll be hiding behind things and shooting bad guys. It's pretty much a duck and cover style shooter when you get down to it. Even though Nathan thinks he's related to Sir Francis Drake, I think he's related to Wolverine because he can take a lot of damage and just regenerates health almost instantly. He's also got fingers of steel. Look at this man, he can climb anything. Giant obvious key? I'll bet it opens a secret door, and it does. Check out this puzzle. I figured it out all by myself. At the moment, it seems to me that big budget AAA action adventure games like this are on the decline. They cost a fortune to make, and kids are buying Minecraft. So how much longer can Nathan Drake keep exploring? Now, I haven't finished the new Uncharted yet for the PlayStation 4. For all I know, he's turned into a cyborg at the end of it. I guess I'll let you know when I review it. But for a reasonable price, you can get the first three Uncharted games on PlayStation 4 on one disc. It's a great deal. They've been remastered, and what that means is typically they just look a little bit sharper. 
I haven't played the PS3 version to compare the two directly, but I've played a bunch of other remasters, and that's pretty common. It's a great looking game. The game is well directed, Uncharted plays well, although Nathan's character is a bit two-dimensional. But when you have hair that nice, you don't need to be particularly interesting. Also, he can bullseye womp rats like a half mile away with a pistol. His power comes from his hair, and hey, I've got a classic game room. Shout out and thank you going to Kelvin once again. PlayStation 4 Fanboy Supreme from Cuba, Missouri. Thank you for sending the Uncharted collection to the show. I figured I should play the first one at least before playing Uncharted A Thief's End. Which should end with him being turned into Bionic Commando. I hope. This one is definitely a cool game, and I'll see you here for the review of the next one, or at least the newest one, on Classic Game Room, even though it's not classic yet. Maybe when they release the Atari computer version. So thanks again for watching. Always make sure to buy your games through the ClassicGameRoom.com website. Doesn't cost you any more, and it helps to support Nathan Drake's hair. Which is even more spectacular in the newest one. It should have its own game. Uncharted, Nathan's hair goes rogue. <laughs> Come on. I always am. Ah! New shirts and glassware now at classicgameroom.com. Don't miss Magnum Skywolf, also on Patreon. Welcome to the club. It's the Lord Carnage Club, where I celebrate these backers on Patreon by shouting their name in a volcano. <laughs> Introducing. Michael Fernandez! Oh yeah! Michael Nelson! Lord Carnage approves. Jim. Moriarty! Sergio Matthias! Hergert! Jason from Kamloops! British Columbia! Busy! Busy. Busy. Signal! Signal! Signal. Al Cyber! Sean Zoltek. <laughs> I'm just kidding again. Sean Zoltek! Stephen Chucknick from New Jersey. Landon Ellerby! He's the administrator of these credits. Philip Straubenmuller of Vienna, Austria. Woo! Jack Stavris from Australia. Home of Mad Max. Ohad Kane! Cue the thunder. Jeff. Captain Dauntless, Briar, Rick DeBarros, out of sight. Will, 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 Will. Kid Shuriken, Fatality, Chip, Sink Bale. That was too evil, wasn't it? Let's try that again. Chip, Sink Bale. See you next time on Classic Game Room. Thanks for watching.